Yeah. T-Pain. CW, CW, we're going to do a review on the CW shows. We have Legacy, we have All American, and we also have um, Black Lightning. Okay, Black Lightning. I, I already told you guys already about Black Lightning, the last episode that I watched. Well, catching up. Um, the youngest daughter, power, she's coming into her powers, she's struggling, but they got my girl, Maxine Shaw from off of Living Single as her teacher, it's freaking bomb, she's helping her, hone her powers in, um, helping her, uh, you know, figure things out where she can have more control over her powers, Alyssa, of course, you know, she's out here doing her thing, dating this, uh, I guess superstar or whatever, reality superstar, and of course she's you know she's doing her thing but she's also you know she's a rebel she wants to do things her way not her dad's way so her and her dad clash shouldn't have moving out it's kind of bad um as far as him and his wife they're you know doing her thing the, the wife is really a boss she's like a scientist she's really smart and she's figuring some things out but she's working with this other scientist who pretty much wants it to fail the pod she thinks they're gonna die regardless of what they do she feels otherwise she feels like she can do things that can maybe save these kids and not just have them die. So, that's where we are with that. And, of course, you know you have that uncle, the white uncle, that is there supporting them, of course, and everything that they do. Um, it was nice to see him fight. Um, the, the girl that tried to jump in and Big Red, you know, I called the bad guy Big Red. The one that tried to take the briefcase from him, she's dying. Well, she ended up dying. And, um... she tried to she tried to um, get the briefcase but she ended up getting pretty much getting hurt so <sighs> it's kind of bad square one with that one um, they arrested him but they ended up freeing him what made it worse he had nerve to mention Black Lightning's family name even though he's the one that killed his dad it was, it was just kind of somber towards the end there but We'll tune in and see what happens next time. So while I eat my breakfast, we will continue discussing CW. Let's talk about legacies. I really do love that show. I think it's a really good show. It's like the school that um has, you know, kids that have powers or whatever and they can't be out here in society with the rest of us okay so you got well Landon who was a friend of the um the werewolf kid when the show first started he stole a knife he doesn't remember how or why he stole a knife that's a very powerful knife. Well, the school bus, a lot of kids got burned on it, and they thought that he had something to do with it. He actually didn't. It was a dragon. A fire-breathing dragon, a girl. She can't talk. Whenever she communicates, she just burns you up. We tried everything to stop it. She tried some dark magic. But the daddy got really mad about that. And that didn't work out too well. So, ended up, she drew, she, once the, the dragon was the actual dragon, she took the knife, made her, and used her magic to make her turn back to a woman. And she, then, he, then the dad ended up stabbing her. It's not her dad, but he treats her like that's his child. Her, the girls, which is his kids, are very jealous of her. I like her. There is a big story behind her. I'd like to know what it is. Because even the werewolf kids say, yeah, I heard about you. Yeah, you no one really likes you around here. So, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're going to bring that up. What the story is behind that and why people hate on her so bad. Because they do. So, they had a big softball game. And all of the legacy kids were playing against them. You know, the regular kids who are not. Who have no magic. And they want to win because they have all this power. And they can just do whatever. Well... Um, the thing of it is, the dad wants them to lose because he don't want anyone to know that they have powers, that they are able to beat them and do all the kind of stuff. Because people are investigating, like, what's going on? Dad's really smart by doing that. 
kids look at it like, look, we can meet these kids whenever we want to. All we got to do all this special stuff. It was a big tug of war with that the whole entire game. They started winning, using powers. And then, you know, the kids was like, look, let's just play and beat them on our own merit without powers. And they were about to beat them. Then when the girl used magic to make sure he lost, did not catch that football. Because she was like, look, we need to lose. We need to lose. So anyway, Landon ended up running away. He said, it's your secret of the school is safe with me. Something else is going on because as the dad was closing the gate, making sure it was locked, he wanted to make sure nobody gets in. There was a big statue, a monster statue, a clay statue that moved and moved his eyes that's inside the gate. So there's a lot of secrets I see on this show. I'm really intrigued to find out what they all are. And then you have that one guy, I feel bad for him, he's kind of a nerd. The uh, other witch, which is one of the girls, the daughter's uh, ex-girlfriend, is trying to hook him up with the sister. And I don't know, she's doing something evil behind it. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. Mm. Pretty good. Mmm. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. She's doing something evil. I do know that. All American, that show to me is bomb. Because you got this story about this boy from South Central who's in Beverly Hills staying with a coach. Well, I think it's his real dad. Staying with a coach and his family by the way. The coach is married to a white woman. They have children together. Not that it means anything, but you have to understand that but that is his father. He gonna look as crazy like you left my mom and me to start a new life with a white woman and have kids. That's how they gonna look at it. Or girls are highly twisted. I don't know if the mama told him to go. You know, I don't know. So he's struggling out here in Beverly Hills. He really is. Because he's trying to find his way to fit in and he can't. None of the kids like him. His own team now doesn't like him. Because they feel like he betrayed him. He's on a new team trying to prove himself. Trying to meet girls. Trying to get to know everybody. But yet, stay, he goes home on the weekends. So he's tied between two homes. His home he grew up with. And his new home. He's just torn. It's just a mess. But the real thing, the real T, when he finds that that's his dad. Because I'm telling you, it's his dad. Who goes up to the mom and says, we need to talk about, we need to tell him. And that's what we need to tell him. It's a big secret. We need to tell him what? And then it shows them when he was younger, uh, talking about his dad, and runs off when she said, your dad's gone, and he's standing in the back. So I think that he, she told him that someone else was his dad and kept him a secret. I don't know why. I don't know if he was already married at the time. That's the possibility. Maybe he was already married and started his family and they had an affair or something. Ooh, that might be what it is, actually. Hmm. Well, stay tuned for next week. We're going to go over the CW shows again. We got Legacy. We have um, All-American. And what did I say? All-American, Legacy, and Black Lightning. Okay, I just wanted some eggs and bacon from McDonald's. Crap. So I put a little salsa on it. That's a small car.